So you've got yourself some nice text and now you're ready to remove the background. So we're going to go to the magic wand tool. We're going to get rid of this and get rid of that. And then let's say you want to use it for thumbnail. So we're going to pretty much put it over to this one. And everything is all good until you rescale it and make it larger. Now, when we rescale it, it is going to get a lot blurrier. It looks good, but isn't really great because the edges are really, really soft. They've lost their quality. And because we rescaled it, it just makes it look all blurry and doesn't look very good. So how do we fix damaged text? Well, it's quite simple, really. All you got to do is go to your text layer. You want to hold control or command if you are on a Mac, and then you want to left click on the thumbnail. Now that you've done that, you want to go to the second tool. And then in here, you want to go to select a mask. And once you're in here, you can pretty much control the edges. If you get yourself the magnify tool, you can zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. At the moment, I have my opacity on 100%, but if you wanted to turn yours down, you can, depending on what you prefer. You can even put it on a black color. You can preview it on whatever you prefer. If you wanted to, you can even show original or you can show the edges only. And that will only show what you have been applying. So first of all, you want to give it a bit of a radius. So this is going to apply on the inside of the text. So if we put it to, let's say five, that'll be a nice number. As you can see, it's already started to apply it. Next up, we'll want to get ourselves a little bit of a feather and we're going to see what it looks like at the moment. So we don't want too much, let's say 1.7. Then we we'll want to go ahead and increase the contrast to 100% and that just makes it nice and sharp. And that is what we want at the moment. So pretty much the radius is how much of it you want it to apply. We have the smoothness. So this will soften the edges. As you can see, if we zoom in a little bit more, the more smoothness we apply, the smoother the edges will get. Now, the only problem with this is that if you give it too much, then it'll start to cut inside your text or it will just only apply it on the outside. So as you can see down here, it's starting to cut it up and that is not what we want. So we're going to put this one to about 30. 30 seems like a nice number, which makes it nice and smooth. And then the very last one, if you wanted to, is the swift edge. So this is pretty much if you want to decrease it. So take away the edges or increase it. Now, if we zoom out to 100%, you need to make sure that you are careful with this one because if we add too much of it, as you can see, the part of the text right here has started to cut off. So we don't want too much. We want just enough to the point where it is still nice and smooth. So as you can see, we've still got a little bit of there, but let's just put it down to 20% about there. And yeah, that is looking a lot better than before. If we show the original, you can see the difference. Once you're ready to save it and you're happy with everything, you want to go all the way to the bottom where it says output two, and then where the selection is, we are going to select a new layer and we're going to put it on your new layer just so we can have the original one underneath it. Then you want to go ahead and press OK. And if we have a look at this, if we get back the before, this is the before and then this is the after. Now, the very last step is to right click on it and then go to blending options. If your text is plain, for example, like mine, if it's a simple solid color, then you can go ahead and get yourself a color overlay, get yourself a black color, and that just makes it even sharper. So as you can see before, after. Now, what if your text has more effects and you can't exactly apply the color overlay? Once again, the same thing applies for text with effects. Instead, this time we're going to make it sharper, so we're going to give it a swift edge, some contrast, a bit of a feather, not too much. So as you can see, it worked the same. If your text is more transparent and you can see through it, you can see through the pixels, then all you got to do is press Ctrl J and copy the text layer. Now, if that doesn't work, then you can easily hold Ctrl or Command and then left click on it again. Go to the part where it's more transparent, as you can see right here. And you could just simply either use the clone tool right here and then copy the textures over. So if you hold Alt and then copy the textures over from here, or you can use the healing brush tool, but make it a little bit smaller, copy the textures over and there we go. 
And that is pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of the video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.